कैन यू इमेजिन की हमारी इलेक्ट्रिक कार का बैटरी पैक है बट दिस बैटरी पैक इज इन गोइंग वेस्टेड इस बैटरी पैक से बनेगी और बैटरीज एंड देर एज गुड एज the new ones because these are automotive grade batteries as we all know there is defense grade and military grade automotive grade and commercial grade and these batteries are automotive grade batteries built with stringent quality standards before and in our journey for net zero as a country india needs to utilize all the batteries very effectively where are you india's most sustainable battery is here welcome to bharat climate startups aaj hum hai bangalore karnataka mein aur hamare aaj ka bharat climate startup hai lunar let's see what they have got for us we are bharat climate startup team lunar at lunar They are building a closed loop sustainable model for electric vehicle batteries. Today they are sourcing batteries from two wheelers, three wheelers, four wheelers and electric buses and they're extending the life of these batteries. Hi, I'm Manal. So I'm working at Nunam as a battery designer. So we are making a safe, a elegant and long lasting battery. Hi. Hi. We are designing our battery management system. Namaskar. We are writing software to make batteries safe and long lasting. This is for Bharat Energy Security. Ye hai team Nunam. So you tell me that say if there's an EV car and we always hear this thing that lithium ion battery ka kya hoga. So like how do you ensure like from the car that battery pack is put into a sustainable closed loop model? Show me. I I'm very happy to hear that uh, people are thinking that lithium ion battery yes. ka kya hoga. It's an extremely important thought which has originated from our society and uh, and yes lithium ion batteries are very expensive resources in the sense they're precious metals which are used to build these batteries and we must utilize them to the longest as possible uh, in a safe manner uh, and we as a company would like to enable that journey and we believe that these lithium ion batteries are a crucial bridge between mobility and uh, sustainable energy right. uh, and we would like to enable that transition by working with other stakeholders in the ev ecosystem and making sure that the energy carbon footprint is as low as possible in our country and i, I believe with the electrification of mobility going on at a rapid speed uh, this is a huge opportunity and a challenge we have to work together with the ecosystem and realize it uh, for all of us so have you Ever seen like an decommission electric battery pack? I haven't seen it at all, but today we'll see it here, and let's go step by step that how they are actually extending the life of these battery packs. So come on, let's show up. Here you can see a decommissioned uh, EV pack. As we mentioned earlier, these are quite good resources. Um, even after a few years in an EV, uh, these cells are still quite good. Uh, for other applications once we receive such batteries we evaluate their health segregate them into different grades and then rebuild new systems so you can always find uh, other components like some electrical uh, components in the battery packs and you will have modules like these and these modules are then tested uh, analyzed uh, through our algorithms and this is extremely critical uh, for us and it is not just about opening a battery pack finding some modules out and then assembling them we each of them go through thorough quality check and there are in house algorithms built and once we qualify them and the algorithms also group them and these battery packs uh, need to be grouped uh, in a certain scientific manner and that is how this whole process culminates into a new battery pack so this is the third step of the process this is where grading is done please tell us more about it yeah sure now that you have seen that the batteries or module from the ev car we now go through a rigorous testing and once the testing is done these modules are stored in a particular order with some logic Uh, where our colleagues in the production floor then pick up these modules uh, under a certain criteria and rebuild packs like these uh, and uh, we envision that uh, these batteries shall empower many homes all commercial offices and even uh, the next phase of the journey in india is to also decarbonize agriculture sector so yeah that's where uh, these batteries would end up and we believe they would could last more than 5 years at at the minimum and this is like the final battery that goes out Yeah so once this is uh, uh, assembled completely it goes through one more round of testing which lasts few hours so again we have built some algorithms to understand if 
the packs are having all the quality checks done and all of this is digitally recorded and verified and then they have uh, qualification towards uh, you know dispatch and what happens like after three years like once this battery pack also reaches its end yeah. what is the process yeah very good question and that's our commitment that we want to ensure that every battery that goes through Noonam's life cycle management ends up in a authenticated authorized recycler so uh, as we envision big numbers as you have seen from one gigawatt hour we believe that we will form an association with many recyclers across the country and ship the battery back to the recycler once it reaches a true end of life um, at our end uh, and then all of this will be traceable we commit that we will build digital traceability for each battery pack that goes through us that at any point of time uh, either the pollution control board or our customers themselves right we feel we believe that our customers now are being you know, more uh, aware of what exactly they're consuming and they're also asking these questions for the good and we have factored this in our financials as well that this will be then picked up from the end user to be back into a recycler finally so what are different sources of battery do you have here yeah for upcycle process we consider uh, three-wheeler batteries, electric bus, electric trucks, uh, four-wheelers, it's going to be also a massive volume coming up. Uh, maybe now we can see one of the battery packs. So this is built from a premium EV car. So we've engineered to suit a semi-commercial use case or even a premium residential block where probably this can give you a regular house of four people a backup of uh, up to 10 hours, a pretty long life. So isn't it interesting that this energy storage system is made out of a premium electric car and it can be used into society's housing in different applications. So that's how we are extending the life of our electric car batteries as well. So this energy storage system which has been made after sourcing batteries from EV fleets can today be used in microgrids to power villages and in fact they can also be used to replace diesel generators. So sir my final two questions to you are that why should we use say upcycled batteries and are we ready to fulfill India's battery demands with upcycled batteries? batteries from here at Nuno. Great, a very important question uh, for us to realize. See, we have seen the menace plastics have caused and if we don't evolve a mechanism to have a closed loop ecosystem for batteries, uh, you will find now batteries thrown around uh, in landfill everywhere. We must avoid it at any cost because these are poisonous stuff uh, as such. So as a society, these batteries are built, as we discussed earlier, producing precious resources. And when they are decommissioned from an EV, it is just not capable to drive a motor in a vehicle, but it can last another five, eight years if it is used for lighting and other applications. So it's just not good enough for the vehicle doesn't mean that it is a waste and we would like to enable this transition through scientific means and there is no say a some sort of a magic it's pure scientific process which we employ to grade these batteries rebuild and they're as good as uh, the new ones because these are automotive grade batteries as we all know there is defense grade and military grade automotive grade and commercial grade and these batteries are automotive grade batteries built with stringent quality standards before so they've already proved their worth by being safe in the EVs and we use tier one, tier two EV products. So uh, these are definitely not to be categorized as waste as soon as we are used in EV and they deserve a much longer life. It replaces an equivalent amount of new production and also reduce the import costs. And these are all big, big uh, advantages. And, and in our journey for net zero as a country, India needs to utilize all the batteries very effectively. And I think plus it also sort of somewhere enhances India's energy security. Like as you're talking about with microgrids, it can power villages. So at places where we don't have transmission lines going on, maybe these batteries could be really helpful at those places. Definitely. See, now that we are adopting more renewable energy, transmission and distribution has a new paradigm. Uh, so we produce in a local area with large solar panels. So it is better to store in that area to distribute energy during non-solar hours and, and batteries are going to play a, a huge role and probably you will see 10 years from now 15 years from now largest companies will not be oil companies but battery companies i agree and sir salute to you on that thank you for building bharat ka climate startup and leading bharat ka evolution ye thi team nunum leading bharat ka evolution follow bharat climate startups for more such stories 
ओके मृणाल हम होंगे कामयाब एक दिन ओके थ्री टू वन हम होंगे कामयाब